electromagnet. In ours, we have the electromagnet that we created, and to create one, we have to understand how it works. To understand how electromagnet works, you have to understand that all wires that have a current in them, current carrying wires, have a magnetic field around them. And when you add up all these magnetic fields, you can create a magnet. So here I have a magnet, electromagnet that I created, just out of some copper wire that I coiled. And when I hook it up to a battery and push a current through it, it creates a magnetic field. And using this magnetic field, I can pick things up. And when I stop putting the current through it, it loses its magnetic field. A key component of speakers is the electromagnetic coil that is inside of them. For our speaker, we made an electromagnetic coil out of copper wire. We wrapped it around 300 times, and we decided that we wanted to find the strength of this electromagnetic coil and put it in our video. So, we use the equation B equals N times mu naught times I over 2R. We know N 300 times, as I said previously. We know mu naught, the constant, is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 tesla meters over amperes. And we know the current that we're pushing through it is around 0 0.002 amperes. We also know the radius of the coil is 0 0.031 meters. And we plug these all back into our equation. Once we plug them into our equation and brought them down, we found that B, the strength of a magnetic field, on average, produced by our coil, is 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5th Tesla. Essentially how a speaker works is you plug your electromagnetic coil into some outlet, and that inserts charge into that electromagnetic coil. Inserting the charge into the coil induces a magnetic field. This vibrates the magnets inside of the speaker, which then vibrates the faceplate, which vibrates the air. And then the vibrations in the air are compressions and rarefactions, and they eventually reach your ear, and you interpret them as sound. Because the strength of the electromagnet comes from the number of coils, we figured it best to have a very large number of them. We actually ended up putting two large sets of wire together using solder. Once we're done building the electromagnet, we're going to need a base. To begin building our base, we're going to start with a square, and then add four posts to each corner of it. Now that we have the base all together, all we need to do is add glue to the coil and the base and put them together. Alright, so we have our speaker set up here is we're going to run music from the laptop and it's just plugged in through like a speaker headphone jack here. And then from there, we're running it into this, which was taken out of a set of speakers originally and we took the outputs to one of the speakers positive and negative here and this just amplifies the current so it gets to the speaker better and then our speaker is this and so the, it, the positive and negative comes in here so the and this coil is going to be our electromagnet. And so the electromagnet goes and fluctuates in current being sent through this, and then this pan has magnets on it. And those magnets are gonna vibrate, which in turn vibrates the pan. So. No, I got this. All right. 
I just got it. Can I take a lap? Like, can I just walk around the couch real quick? <laughs> All right. So how a speaker works? It's electromagnet. Were you recording that? Go. Go. We want to figure out how electromagnetic coils work. So, no, we don't want to find out. We already know. Be like a gentleman, like cross your arms and then cross your legs. You know what I'm saying? 